a spade and I'll give you a hole. hole. Way oh, on the railroad. Dirt on my brow but steal in my soul. Way oh, on the railroad. Picking up coal and we're picking up speed. Shovel as much as the engine needs. Sweat and blood gonna earn my pay All the way to Frisco Bay Going through hills trying to make up time <laughs> Way oh, on the railroad Ain't nothing gonna stand in the way of our lives <laughs> Way oh, on the railroad Picking up coal and we're picking up speed Shovel as much as the engine needs Ain't no slave, but we slave away All the way to Frisco Bay Boss man says that a mile a day's the pace <laughs> Way oh, on the railroad I'll make two for the look on his face <laughs> Way oh, on the railroad Picking up coal and we're picking up speed Shovel as much as the engine needs Ain't no slave, but we slave away All the way to Frisco Bay They is trying to plan which route is best <laughs> Way oh, on the railroad Let's draw a straight line from east to west <laughs> Way oh, on the railroad <laughs> Picking up coal and we're picking up speed Shovel as much as the engine needs <laughs> Ain't no slave, but we slave away all the way to Frisco Bay Spare no quarter and we'll spare no man <laughs> Way oh on the railroad Just pray we don't run into the Cheyenne <laughs> Way oh on the railroad Picking up coal and we're picking up speed Shovel as much as the engine needs Sweat and blood gonna earn my pay All the way to Frisco Bay Picking up coal and we're picking up speed Shovel as much as the engine needs Ain't no slave but we slave away All the way to Frisco Bay Picking up coal and we're picking up speed Shovel as much as the engine needs If I should fall, leave me where I lay On the railway To Frisco Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, Skillet coming to you from X4 Foundations. What an intro that was, right? And this is the fleet dissipating from that intro. Uh, they are moving to their respective places. I know, I know, you may have caught a glimpse that, yeah, some people are still damaged. Um, well, money is an issue, and now we have three three large mineral miners to take care of that money issue as the long uh, longest john said we're picking up coal we're picking up speed that's what we're doing now those miners are going to be doing silicon in the grand exchange area we are going to be making up money now we uh we only we only took what two extra three extra dragons than what we originally had but the wyverns were were the longest fight of all those um we have been we have been pretty active time has severely passed since last episode um our station now is let's uh let's show you we got graphene We've got large tier docks. We are expanding. Money is somewhat of an issue, especially when we have uh, the fleet of our size and to in the rep ranking that we do um, for the Talati. Um, moon chargers are going to be used. Uh, Talati shields are going to be used. And then what we're going to do is we are going to patrol... Uh, Inimus Zura, and possibly even two grand, um, specifically around this gate, uh, just because Xenon Cluster here 
You see a little flyaway right there. Now, we do have a satellite network going up also into Zyarth territory. Um, we got the Wyverns in 11th hour and um, Guiding Star, which we're going to have to do something with Guiding Star. I'm, we're not going to be friends with the Argon. Uh, we do need to talk about another station at one point, somewhere in Talati space, maybe even Grand Exchange 4 um, as a solar power plant. Or silicon. Uh, and that way we can actually help produce power for these stations within uh, these three sectors, four sectors, and even a fifth sector. Well, I guess one two jumps so we have we have that ability um money will be coming to us pretty regularly now with the with the large miners um but yeah we have we have a great presence right now in the universe but not only do we have a great presence in the universe the talati have a I, I, for the last two, the last two universes, um, the Talati have been a little more militant, a little more aggressive, bigger in military fleets. They are holding this gate, and they have regular incursions all the time, I've witnessed. It's, uh, they got the Ministry, um, they've got Company, it, they... They're doing a whole lot to protect their sectors, but they're not actually just protecting. They're sending ships through 451. They're getting into here. We're going to have to... I thought I took care of this station. I took down its um, supply chain, um, but apparently I didn't. Um, Zyarth now has uh, a patrol fleet. Maybe this has always been around, but this has just entered this sector recently. Um, see, look, Ministry ships right here. They're playing a bigger part um, rather than any other universe we've really played. They're playing bigger parts in terms of silencing the Xenon, um, which has been great. And hopefully that gets a, a point to pause, but I need Zyarth. I need Zyarth to do something about these stations. Because these stations will will make Family to Curve fall. Um, regular incursions over here, that station needs some support. It needs something. Um, look, Talati here, uh, company here. It, we're having an impact, but the Talati are also having an impact. Um, we're helping the Talati uh, economy with our traders... Um, in Grand Exchange and 18 billion, not traders, but mineral miners and gas miners. We're having a positive impact within free family space. Um, it doesn't seem like hull parts are a, 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 a huge of an issue uh, for them now. Um, I was waiting on advanced electronics at the wharf. We do have six million, so we can fit out our craft now and still have around about four million um, left. And then we could go into that four million and get a buffalo. Um, buffaloes are not something I've seen with an open market or 11th hour. I'd have to go further afield into Zyarth territory and even into possibly Xenon territory at that point um, to find some. But it's doable. We can find it, we can go after them, and we can pirate them. Um, but I'm actually surprised Zyarth for the amount of time. How much time is in this universe so far? Where's stats? 21 hours. 21 real-life hours are still are, are just in this universe. And I we're still early game, but I feel we're much later than that. I honestly do. Because the Xenon are just relentless with their with their march in Family to Kerr, with their march in Fires of Defeat. I mean, yeah, we've got the Talati to stop them in Enemus Zura, 
but we don't have fleets in Family Takur. We don't have fleets and fires of defeat. And who knows what Zyarth is actually facing over here on their flank. It's, um... I don't know. It, it's a little limiting. I haven't went out a field. Um, my biggest thing was try to figure out Z's here real quick. And I thought open market was not here. I, I thought this was actually a, a, a Zyarth territory, but I was wrong. Thank God. I've got a trade station. I thought the trade station was in too grand. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um... But we have, we have economic movement. We have stability going on in the galaxy. And then let's talk about this. Because there... I mentioned a few videos, maybe a stream or two ago, um, my idea about Matrix 9 and Matrix 4, 5, 1. And we don't have the money to do everything that we want to do with it, but we can plan it out now, right? That plan, that plan is for stations. Um, I think it's the Z. Great plot, yes, Z. So we'd want one here. We're not gonna do anything with right now. Well, that one looks... Sure. We're not going to do anything with that. Next one. See, why to go 10 10? I don't know. And then the next one. Well, actually, you know what? If we can do it like this. That would be nice. And then... Because this line... These are going to be our defense stations, right? So we're going to have... We're going to have defense stations along here. Um, we're just going to plot the... We're going to plant the plots now. Still want them to be close enough to, to cover each other. And then let's, um, is it Y direction? Is that what that is? No. Awaiting orders. It's X. We have that. So we'll plant these plots, right? And these are going to be the defensive line. Um, and this is what we're going to use to help defend um, fires of defeat. And then we're going to create a corridor, if we can, a corridor from uh, 451 into Family Takur. So NMS Zura to Family Takur. Create a trade corridor. Um, through here. Now, these sectors, this is probably going to be the, the hardest fought one, uh, because there is the wharf in the shipyard. But let's, let's save this now, right? Let's save this now, and then let's go into, um, let's go into, oh, what's it called? It's a thing. There's a thing. Let's go into new uh, station design simulator. 
and I'll I'll see you guys in there. All right, here we go. Let's. How do we change this? Plot one simulated headquarters, new plot. We need a new plot. Great, new plot. We'll throw it right there. Continue. It did the same thing. Okay. So we're gonna need a docking area. Um Sure, let's do a docking area like that. Then a defense. We gotta go split defense. But I want this... turn like that. Edit loadout. Let's go. Let's go beams. <laughs> what a what a crazy crazy design. Um, and then. We could, uh, no, let's go pulse. Oh, where did you go? Pulse. And then what we're gonna do... What we're gonna do shield-wise, we're gonna go Talati. 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 We'll throw in a split for recharge rate. Talati. 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 We'll throw in a split, again, for recharge rate. Confirm changes. So this is going to be the protector for um, the landing area. And then the admin center... And this is just going to be the stupidest layout because edit. We can go. Where's that one? We can go beams on the inner layer. Where's two? We're gonna go plasma on the outer layer. Three, plasma. Four, we can, we can do beams again on four. Five, beam six, beams, and then, oh, the medium turrets are on the top. How are they on the other one? We'll have to get to it on the, on the other, on the other device. Um, and then Talati, Talati, because I forgot, split stations are Dumb angles. Um, the mediums. This, we're going to have the brunt of everything. So this back one... Back one, we can have... Flak. Oh, you know what? Not flak. Let's go tracking. We'll go tracking. And this one will go... 
We'll go pulse on the outers. And then six is that. Five is that. Four. Go tracking. I like how number three here is just elongated to make the space up. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's what we'll do there. We'll confirm that loadout. Um, blue is, okay, blue is this line. And then let's... All right, and then edit loadout. So this one, on this leading edge, we'll do the plasmas. Inside, we'll do beam. Beam four is that one, so we'll do plasma again. Um, mediums will throw I'll throw a pulse here. Two will do pulse. Three. Shard. Where's the flak? We'll do flak. Four flak. Now. I might have to individually do this because of how they're going to be done, right? Um, Talati, split, Talati. You know what? I can't do split because it's, it's for the individual guns. It's not for the station itself. So Talati shields are going to be the best bet. So let's edit this. Your shields are all going to be Talati. Because I got to remember, this is not like a ship. This is the individual armaments on the station. And then... And it load out. So actually, this with the with the outer lane, that's actually not a bad design, really, when it comes to it, because we have we'll have the ability to to have what four four mains or four large, and then four small. Um, basically crossing a T, if you want to think of it that way. Uh, and they should all have a good arc or a range of motion to target their sides. I wonder if I should do them all flat. It's not a bad idea. I don't think. I don't think that's a bad idea at all. Okay, let's get back down to the shields. Talati, 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 Talati. And it changes. So. Our copy module. We're in a copy module. Turn it this way. We're going to copy sequence. That way. Copy. 
copy sequence again. Copy sequence. And then copy module, copy module, copy module, copy. So this will be. This will be our interlinking defense station method, right? And then we can, we can, oh, we can't, can we? I was going to say we could branch off off these, but we can't. But now what we can do, now what we can do is we can, really wish these had defenses on it, and then we could just shoot it out, um, in whatever way but we can add um, manufacturing bits to this as well right so and this is an idea for later down the line right once we have the stations good because what we're gonna do what we mm, Hmm. We can do that, and then we can build... We can build production onto this. We can do... Not shelt meat, not scruff and fruit. Um, we can do uh, missile components. Um... We can do hull parts, claytronics, whatever we need. Actually, recycling on these, because if it's going to be a constant battleground, then these stations are going to need to be able to be repaired. So we could we can build out whatever's needed, especially on these stations. So the energy cells, the... Um, where's the recycler? Medical bay, medical supply, bofu, soybeans, field component, claytronics, whole part. You know what? I was looking in the wrong spot. Okay, so we can do scrap processing, and we can have tugs on this as well. Maybe. We're gonna have to lower the station a bit. Actually, we can we can raise it a little bit. Now let's see. Can we? I don't want you to attach to anything. I just want you... Oh, get out of there. Oh, no. Crap. I didn't get to save it. But that's the idea, right? To have these inter interwoven, lengthy, lengthy defense stations. Um, and this is where I want to open up a discussion board, right? Turrets. Your ideas. Um, I'm not great with defensive stations. Should we do, should we do what I was doing? Plasmas on the outside, beams on the inside. Um, I want to know thought processes. 
because these are going to be lengthy. There's going to be uh, maybe possibly more rows to this um, for a defense in depth kind of deal. Um, but let me know. Let me know. This is the general layout of what I'm planning. But for turrets, I want to ask all of you. Leave a comment. Let me know how, how you would build this station. Um, I want length to be able to defend um, the whole line between gates. And that's why I'm doing it this way. That's my mentality. Hold the line against Xenon incursions. Create a safe corridor for transport ships and miners. Um, anything that needs to go to and from. And from this, we can also add any production. Again, we can do the recycling. We can have an equipment dock. We can, we can, we can base fleets in these sectors with this as well. So there's a lot more to this than just defense stations. That's going to be Skillet. Um, let me know your thoughts. This is, this is going to be for the future, but we're going to plan this out now. Now, I'm going to continue going on and doing my good old pirating ways. Um, and then we are, we're going to grow the fleet. We're going to get more cobras. We have three. We, uh, we're going to grow, grow the dragons. We have a chimera. We have a mumba. We have an asp. We have balor. Um, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to grow the fleet in the meantime. But let me know what you guys would do for turrets. Along with just split station parts, okay? Split station parts to Lottie Shields. Split station parts to Lottie Shields. All right, that's going to be Skillet. I'll be signing out for now. Thank you, guys. I uh, I hope you're enjoying the series. I know it's a it's going to be a bit long. Um, I think the end result will be once we defeat the Colonial Fleet. I think that we might be able to... To, to say we did a great job there. Uh, but this is going to be Skillet signing out for now. I'll catch you guys again.